So my goal here is for you guys to all wind up crashing something. That's what I want you to do, and I want you to do it for $100. When I was a kid, I desperately wanted to crash things. And I went to a flight field, and I talked to a bunch of old men, and they explained all the ways not to crash things. And they explained I would spend thousands of dollars, I would crash things, and I'd spend thousands more dollars, and this is just... It was like there was something fun wrapped up in a whole bunch of really not fun stuff. So the question was, could you get the fun stuff out from the non-fun stuff and go fly things and crash things and not spend an arm and a leg and just go do it? And it turns out, you can. There are all sorts of crazy innovations in this field that make it possible to go out to a field and for less than $100 go fly things, crash them, and then go fly them some more. It's an absolute load of fun. So to start with, don't go to a field. Get one of these things. They're great. They're, they're a quarter of a Benjamin. They're $25. You can get them at Target. And uh, you can run into walls, you can smash into things, you can flip all around. There are the Air Hogs Havoc Heli, it's a ter terrific deal. So to geek out for a second, one of the coolest things about this, one of the things that made these possible is lithium polymer batteries, which are these tiny little batteries that are super light that can do a whole ton of power, whether it be two grams like the one in the corner, 786 grams, and 4.4 kilowatts. Two of those could power the Wright Brothers plane. They're fantastic, and it enables a whole different kind of uh, aircraft, and they very, very rarely explode. So for just a minute, a digression on why helicopters are hard. So you've got this thing, and it's spinning around. You actually have to control it, not just this. You also have to control this, and you control the way it goes as you're spinning around. So you're actually waving the thing, tilting it, plus the tail rotor, six channels. It's crazy hard, which is why simulators are awesome, because the thing on the right is hit space bar to continue. The thing on the left is hit $1,000, because that's a gas helicopter. You, you don't want that. So simulators are awesome. It means you can go, you can practice, you can fly, and you can buy, for example, the Honey Bee King 2. This is a great helicopter. For 130 bucks, you get a helicopter that can do about 30 miles an hour over straight ground. Tip speed is about 150, 150 miles an hour, so don't hit anything. It can fly inverted. It can do stunts, everything you want. And this is what you get for that just ridiculously low price. It comes with a solid-state gyro, which is an incredibly cool piece of technology. It's actually the, the, it keeps the tail steady, so even if you're flying backwards or something like that, uh, even if you spin up the, the, the propeller, the tail still holds still. It's the same sort of thing in uh, your iPhone. <laughs> so to control these, it used to be you had to have like these different cells and these crystals and you had to match them. But the great thing is low cost wireless USB chipsets from Cypress have driven the cost of this down to $30. So you don't have to deal with any of these crazy frequency boards. That's why it's, it's those things for your Wii that drove the cost down. So you want to get a slow stick. It's $18.90 for the airframe. It's freaking indestructible. If something happens to it, you fix it with packing tape. You can hack the hell out of the airframe. You can even make it into a boat if you want to. It's loads of fun. And the electronics for it are dirt cheap because the Chinese people love remote control stuff. It's not that Chinese manufacturing drives the cost down. It's that there's so many people out there and that all of flying this stuff. There's huge quantities produced. So that thing in the top right corner is $18.99. It's made in China, but you buy it here. Or in the lower right corner, you get it shipped straight from Hong Kong direct to your house, and it's $2.99. So you can get all the fiddly bits to get that slow stick thing I showed you up in the air for less than $100. You have enough left for a latte. And I even put a couple spare props on there and two batteries so you can fly a whole lot. Trust me, you'll crash before the batteries wear out. So if you want to spend a little more than $100, that top plane will go about 107 miles an hour if you put a good enough engine in it. The middle one you can fly around in a room like this, which I might do during the break. The bottom one I actually built in uh, uh, CAD software using a Google SketchUp, uh, out of foam, drives on the ground, flies through the air. Uh, you also can spend a little more money. <laughs> that top one can do 150 miles an hour with the engine off, or you can wear geek goggles and fly, or even text your plane and tell it where to go. Uh, but that's a little more money. That's, that's what we call a kilobuck project. Um, so I want to turn to a more serious matter, glue deficiency syndrome. This can strike at any time. This, in fact, struck yesterday about 15 miles an hour into a fence, uh, as did the next one I'm about to show you, which was, it turns out propellers, if you wire them backwards, become repellers. So you throw the plane up and then it accelerates backwards and there's Alan Lee who'll be speaking a little later showing the outcome of that. The last one was actually a contest. Uh, also inspired by Alan, he said uh, to Eugene Lin and I, let's dive and see who can pull out last and Eugene won. So it actually did fly again but there was one chopstick holding the motor to the fuselage, two pieces of tape and three wires. That was it. So that is a classic case of glue deficiency syndrome right there. So where are we going? Why should you do this? It's loads of fun. You get to solder. <laughs> Soldering is optional, but it's so much fun. It's a great geek project. You're highly unlikely to emulate yourself or anyone else. You get to run into each other where it's in the air. You get to smash yourself into the ground. And, uh, you know, I want to close with, with one important uh, uh, piece of wisdom I got, uh, got from a good friend, which is 
if your plane still flies, you didn't have enough fun. So please follow me on Twitter. Designate $100. You can join me in the airfield in a few days. I'll tweet some links so that you can join all the fun. And thank you very much.